Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, we found ourselves in the Korok Forest, or the Lost Woods, whichever you like prefer to say. And today, we're going to finish mapping out the forest here, before we head back to finding out what is too spicy to handle, and, well, that's really about it. But no, to, uh, to now, uh, stomp the joke, um, stomp the joke away, the Great Deku Tree. Now, you, now one might think, hmm, peculiar. Great Deku Tree, but this area, but there's gloom down here by Great Deku Tree. What could that mean? Very bad things. Uh, we're not going to touch on that for a little bit because uh, it is a big story point with the Deku Tree. So we're going to come back to the Deku Tree after we're, I'm going to say we're going to come back to the Deku Tree after we're done with the depths. Maybe even at, maybe a little bit, at, uh, depending on how I handle things, maybe even a little bit after a story beat. One story beat, rather. Depends on how I handle things. It's uh, a lot of the series. Seize my pants, man. I one day, like one day, I may decide, or one day, end of the series, or end, end, end of the series. Well, end of the recording session, may say, okay, next time I sit down and record this, I am going. I do have that Coliseum mark. Yeah, yeah, I do. We'll take a br we'll take a break of these from these light routes. I've been going to Coliseum, but speaking of before I do that, let me mark that light route because even though it'll be pretty obvious where it is, I still want to make sure I get it. Like, at the end of a session, you know, I may just say, end of the session, alright, so next time when I sit down to play this game, I'm gonna go smack an F to, to Harfenorf. And then I'll sit down the next time, it's like, hey, uh, hey, I just did some thinking over the last two hours. Um, we're not gonna go do that, because that would require, that would require advancing the story, and I'm ignoring that. Yes, I am torturing you. One specific person out there, you, you know who you are, I'm torturing you, specifically. Eh? Eto? I can't decide if that's a camp. I can't decide if that's a monster camp or what. Also, let me double check on myself. I'm double checking. Actually, let me come over here. Let me put this pin here because I know there's going to be a shrine there anyway. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Anyway. So yeah. Um, what I'll say for now is I would like to come back. Oh, that's why I can't do. Okay, that'll that ends. I would no. I went to that mining camp. God, so sorry. It's so hard to keep track of what I have and haven't done. If there is anything like, I'm just gonna, I'll open up this map here in a second. Like, I'm trying to get all these camps around the world or all these mining bases. I'm pretty sure I have been in here. I'm pretty sure I've been in here and done a thing. God's gonna drive me nuts if I don't go back there now. <laughs> That's gonna drive you nuts because I belts right in your right ear. Um. Gosh, sorry, it's gonna drive me nuts. I gotta go handle this. But yeah, so a lot of the stuff when I do in the series is just like one day, or in the case of what is today specifically, my what I'm gonna what I'm trying to bar off as my big recording day is one day or yeah, one time at the end of the session. I'm gonna say we do one thing. And then I'll think about it. I'll turn around and go, no, that's a bad idea. Let's, uh, southwest. That way. That's, I'll go, hmm, that's actually a bad idea. Let's not. And then I'll do something else entirely. So I will say, right now, my plan is after a major story beat, like the first major story beat we're going to do, because a lot of the world's going to open up after this one major story beat that I'm going to do first before I continue, like, explore Hyrule more thoroughly. It is that. Um, I'm, this angle seems very familiar, so I think I have done this. But it's, it doesn't hurt to double check. But I'm going to try and make sure I actually handle all the story... Or handle... I'm going to say after a story beat, we'll go to the Great Deku Tree. Okay, I have done it. After a story beat, we'll go to the Great Deku Tree. But that could change depending upon when we're finally exploring the surface for realsies. Uh, of course, the enemies are right between me and the camp. Good thing there's just, there's just a thicket over here I can climb up on. But usually a forest like this means... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Usually a big... Uh, not even... This isn't a huge clearing, but... Like, a clearing like this in a forest usually means there's, like, a Hinox out here. There's enough room for a fight. 
Let's leave well enough be and not poke the bees nest. So there's no bees down here. though on the surface. Ah, I make a funny. That was a bad funny. Yeah, it was. Don't draw, don't draw attention to the fact I'm very sensitive. So, looping back around to... Oh, they're just... They're not recording that much. Huh. Neat. Anyway. Uh... I want to get rid of you because you're fast. Anyway. But yeah, so... The whole completing of Zelda games saves some power. The whole completing of Zelda games that I want to handle... Uh, like, Minish Cap is the last one I want to handle. That's Minish Cap is like one of the last ones I want to handle, or that that I have done 100% at all. Maybe that'll change at some point. Maybe I'll actually get some free time and uh, be able to 100% all these all the games in my spare time, and then those become proper proper walkthroughs instead of just uh, oh shield breaking. Actually, that's fine. I'm right next to a Bokoblin shield, so this is all good. Um, but yeah, at some point I'll. I'll Maybe maybe at some point in the in the future, I'll be able to s properly sit down and play a Zelda game on my own time for a change, and then make it a proper playthrough for you guys as well. In the end, you know, I kind of wish I had my uh, I actually kind of wish I had my chest from the surf from that I got in the surface amiibo, but that is neither here nor now. Uh, I guess Rocky. But, the, uh, what was it? I, I mentioned Phantom Hourglass, and I've beaten Phantom Hourglass. And I think I, oh, hey, a rock right here, nice. And I think I've attempted to 100% Phantom Hourglass. But I think I gave up at, like, the 95% mark. So I don't, I don't think I've ever done a proper 100% playthrough of Phantom Hourglass. And that is mostly tied to, I'm going to say fishing of all things. Yeah, I think that mostly ties to the fishing and the uh, anchor, or the, uh, what do they call that in that game? The claw gripping thing? What was the... Oh my gosh, what did they call, what did they call the effective hook shot? Or, no. What did they call that in Wind's Waker? I'm, this is going to drive me nuts. Hold on, I gotta look this up, because this is going to drive me bonkers if I don't find it right now. It is just straight up called grappling hook, okay. So, the grappling hook portion of uh, Phantom Hourglass, I think I left a lot of that just to sit and uh, sit and fester and mold and pass on before when I said, nah, I'm done here. Uh, unless it was required for completion. But, oh, um, uh, I see what's going on here. Hey, these are pretty cool bananas. Actually, I'm going to follow this, tra this uh, trail back to the start. Because I want the I want the bananas. Yeah, if the bananas, the bananas should be a pretty obvious hint what's going on at this point. But yeah, I do. Uh, Fan Argos is, is another one. And then I've said it. I think I've said it in the past. But if not, this is the first instance of this. Well, this specific phrasing, I'll say. I do want to do. I do want to do a 100% uh, well, yeah, I do want to do I'm going to say 100% now, but I'll probably flub out that because of the context. I do want to do a 100% playthrough of the original Legend of Zelda, because it because I have played the original Legend of Zelda the first quest at least, to 100% completion a lot of times as a kid a lot of times, like I was born the same year that game released if that helps paint a picture at all Now everybody knows how old I am. Hey, help. Um, yeah, I want to do a... I do want to do a 100 play, playthrough of... Of uh, the original Legend of Zelda. That, and I also want to do a playthrough of second uh, the second quest. But my idea for it is that on... Mm, there's a lot of... You know what? I'm going to do it like this. Also, I'm going to switch bow so I don't waste my good bow doing this tactic. Uh, 
Are they going to attack each other, or are they going after anybody else in the base? I have help. Lob one out there, see what happens. I'm staying... Oh, there we go. Like, I'm staying in gloom. Um, but I do want to do, like, a 100% playthrough of the original Legend of, of the original Legend of Zelda and both quests. But that is going to be... But that whole idea is actually going to be... Can I grab this? No, I cannot. But that's all going to be uh, truncated. Or I guess not truncated. That's all going to come down to me... Uh, Getting to the point of where I can, hopefully, I, I say hopefully, get to the point where I can conversationally, or not even conversationally, like, in any capacity, speak Japanese. Because The Legend of Zelda, along with, there's a select handful, a handful of games that I would say actually help me be able to speak the English language, as weird as it is. And I attribute to, um, of course. I attribute uh, the original Legend of Zelda partially to that fact I can speak in, uh, English and read English. But I want to... Uh, stop that. But yeah, I want to be able to, like, get, like conversationally or either mindly speak it. I want to be able to communicate 99% of my thoughts in, in Japanese when I do the playthrough and subtitle it. That's my plan for the original Legend of Zelda. And then when I get around to, to uh, second quest. When I get around to second the second quest playthrough, I might go more Eng I might go more English than Japanese, just because I feel like a, that oh dang I didn't want to pick that. Oh well. Uh, when I get around to that point, I do wanna or when I get to, then I do want to do a uh, playthrough of the second quest, but it would be my first time trying to beat second quest in my life. So you know, it's this is this is a lot of this is very much uh, it's oddly fitting. A lot of it, a lot of that is, or a lot of all that that I'm thinking of and bringing up. That this is like things I've thought about for a long time. Like as soon as I started learning all the the, the language of, or uh, as soon as I started learning the language of already. Gosh dang it. Uh, as soon as I started like trying to learn Japanese, which for anyone who doesn't follow that timeline, uh, I'm not gonna make you go scroll through my my own timeline, to, my own like Twitter timeline to find that out now, because I announced I was doing it on Twitter first and foremost. And nobody wants to go on Twitter. Uh, but yeah. And this is breaking too. Man, I'm just breaking it all. Break the bank. We're gonna we're gonna run this. Pretty sure this won't break stuff. I yeah, it won't. All right, rock hammer it is. Um, but yeah, like I th I want to say, gosh, it's almost been three years now since I've started learning on my own. Keep in mind, learning on your own and not speaking it daily it doesn't really helps only to a degree when you're learning another language. Which is why I can only say like the same five or six phrases and not get like start a whole conversation with you guys in that language. But I want to at least get like somewhat speakable, somewhat conversational in Japanese so I can do a proper playthrough. So I can like do a proper playthrough all the original Legends of the first quest in Japanese and then beat the second quest for my first time. And like do a hybrid English Japanese. And I'll subtitle the Japanese. I might even subtitle the English. Or banana. Wait, you mean it's a trap? <laughs> We've got you now. You must be Link. You're as foolish as you are greedy. Who would have left precious bananas just lying around? You walked right into our trap. Alright, in my defense, you got me. I do I do acknowledge that bananas are probably the best thing in this game. All right, Interjects. Mm. Listen and tremble in horror. Watch as quake and fear. For we are the unstoppable force sworn to limit you and Princess Zelda. Led by the indomitable Master Koga. I slapped his ass once. What do you mean slapped his ass? 
I open palm, and it went in slow motion. You now have a terrible mental image in your head. We are the Yiga Clan. And now, you are about to pay the price for your foolishness. Let me introduce you to our debt collector. Born of the depths, lurking in the darkness of the Force Coliseum. Behold, the Black Enox. Your life is ours. Eh, I've seen worse. Don't throw a rock at me. Big guy, don't throw a rock at me. You throwing a bomb at me? Well, that sucks for you. Hey, catch the, fe catch the fever. Oh, whoops, missed. Catch the magic. Uh, let's get off of this. Let's go back to this. And I, sh I did just get a bunch of bananas. So let's go ahead and eat this to make this fight go fast. Oh, your, oh, your feet are protected. Hold on, I got a plan for you. I had a couple plans for you. So first, no ankle protection. So one ankle has, I'll tell you now, one ankle has a wooden a brace on it. The other one has an electric brace. Hey, what does electricity do to to metal? I said a metal brace. Yeah. Elemental weaknesses, baby. You can use them to your advantage. Uh, huh. Bad idea. Oh, hey, that works. <laughs> I put a spike on it and it worked. I wonder how much damage that just dealt. Hey, do you got more? I'm hungry. Hey, you guys got more I can fight? I can go for another. Oh, they left. Oh, my friends left. Why would they leave, though? Not like a, it's not like I beat their strongest warrior. You beat their strongest warrior. Oh, that was a str That was a str Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for your lots. I mean, loss. But the loop back around, yeah, like... The original Legend of Zelda... Rejoice. Here's your Korok mask. So yeah, Forest Coliseum. I think it's the same every time. Uh, This is... I'm, okay, I gotta try and remember to get back to this, but Forest Coliseum, I'm pretty sure, always has the Korok mask in it. Much like the Coliseum with all the Lionels we fought several episodes ago, I'm pretty sure that always has the always has Majora's mask in it. The Korok the Korok mask was a DLC mask in Breath of the Wild. This one, it's base game. And if you're ever running around the surface, I would implore you to wear this anytime you're not in combat or planning to go into combat, because it will basically Shake and shimmer whenever there is a Korok seed nearby. But considering the depths and nothing, and it, uh, the depths doesn't have any Koroks in it, don't bother with it right down here. But, uh, back to the, the, the Legend of Zelda discussion. So, outside of, yeah, outside of those three games that I know I can beat, at least I know I can at least beat, and I have uh, for two of them 100% in the past. It, we'll say we'll say 200 or 175% in the past because I haven't ever beat Second Quest. Sorry, I just saw the, I just saw the lines move on my because I, I on my second monitor I keep like the waveform readout for my recording, make sure it's still catching my voice. I saw it jump randomly, and I thought a giant-ass bug just flew past my face. But outside of those three games I mentioned, I do want to, uh, I do want to play the rest of Zelda game. It's just that every other game, every other game in the Zelda and the Zelda uh, uh, Legend, then since then Zelda, Or is it Zelda no Densensu? I think it's Zelda no Densensu. No, Densensu no Zelda. Sorry. That's a rule of Japanese I'm trying to remember, is that whatever the thing is you're attributing to something must become before the thing you're attributing it to. Instead of like in English where it says, le or it's like, z it basically would be Zelda's legend, rough, uh, l directly translated, but like ink people who translate, you know, be like, oh, Legend of Zelda sounds better. Rules are weird, man. I did just pick up a claymore. Yes, I did. Oh, that was a damage up claymore. Nice. But everything else in the catalog of Legend of Zelda 
Like, I would... I'd be going into it blind. 100% blind. I would not know what the heck is going on. This includes... Well, I say partially blind. Like, this does include Spirit Tracks. I have only played, like, 15% of that game. This includes Zelda 2 on the NES. I've only gotten to, like, the 30% point of that game. This includes Skyward Sword. I've played, like... I played enough to get my loft wing in that game uh, when it was on the Wii and then I never touched it again and I think I've mentioned it but I'm but it bears repeating the duology of the Oracle games I do want to do that and I do want to go into a blind even though with launch like a lot of Zelda Zelda games I have seen people play it minus Skyward Sword I have seen people play that game but what I'm secretly holding out for when it comes to the Oracle games is I'm secretly hoping that gets a Link's Awakening treatment. And what I mean is like, like, they're, 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 they're effectively in the same quote unquote universe and they would use the same engine as Link's Awakening. And back in the day, it was basically like, it was basically like a better Pokemon game and that the two different versions of the game actually were different. Outside of like the 3%. So I am secretly hoping that like the Oracle games get some kind of like Switch re-release or remaster. And then I would come back to it then. And I feel like with a Switch re-release or remaster, it would be so much easier to move stuff to like transfer the files or transfer those codes. Or transfer those codes between the two games. And now I can see if I've missed one. I have missed a light route somewhere back there. But yeah. Uh, transferring the codes would be so much easier between the two games. Somewhere down here. Oh, not that. And then this and... Oh, these are both on areas we can't reach normally. Okay, we may have to go... We may have to take a pit stop to the surface. After I glide down to that. And with that, you now know my entire plans for the entirety of Zelda no Detsensu. But with that totally botched Japanese side, thank you all so much for watching this episode. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.